they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Is that Scuba Steve? Oh my god! Hey guys, it's Vash and welcome to the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. Um, it's been a long time since we've played Metal Gear, a very, very long time, and I have a good reason for that. It's because uh, the majority of the copyrights on my channel are from Konami for Metal Gear stuff, so I just thought that they just didn't want me playing the game, so I left it at that for a very, very long time. But recently, I did a test to see if I could play them, and I can, so here we are. So... Um, I ended up getting the Master Collection uh, not too long ago when it was on sale, just to see what it's all about, because I hear that these versions are a little a little weird. Um, what is download? I just wanted to see how they are. Oh, European pack, Japanese language pack? Oh, that's cool. So you guys are ready? What is the Master Book? Spoilers? I don't know. I don't do spoilers. I'm going to look at it anyway. Oh. Oh, that's what this is? Eh. I will never mind. But hi guys. Hope you guys are doing wonderful, doing well. The Shadow Motors incident happened in 2000. This is loud. Let me turn this down a bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful, wonderful time. Having a good day, a good night. I'm doing all right. It's 12.10 uh, in the morning. And we are going to play some Metal Gear Solid. You guys down with that? What is integral? I don't even know what this is. The original release ran like tonight. English audio only, Japanese English subtitles, difficulty settings, the VR disc. How about we just do regular Metal Gear Solid? How about we just do that? Okay. All right, here we go. What a hood classic. I played this game so much as a kid. So I would love to do all of the games, one, two, and three. If you guys are down to watch it, I'm down to play it. Just let me know. Let me know down below. You want to see them? Because I'll play them. Forget it. I mean, not forget it. Whatever. I'll play him, bro. It's been a while. Whew, there's dust everywhere. It's been a bit since I've been able to enjoy these bad boys. But I always get like a rush of nostalgia whenever we play these these oldies but goodies that make me happy. But, you know, we also have some other stuff planned, but this is a more of a surprise for you guys. Because I know people have been asking me for a while to play this bad boy. And I never really checked in on the whole copyright thing. Because they've just always been there. So I never really double checked to see if they were... I mean, the funny thing is they're still there. <laughs> so weapons hopefully facility hopefully it, it doesn't and stop Alaska's me. Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces. Being led by members of Foxhound. <laughs> They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Is that Scuba Steve? You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. It's your next mission is to figure out if they're bullshitting. <laughs> we'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then, we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. 
The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. He's all wiggly. I don't know why it's so funny to me, dude. <laughs> He's all wavy and wiggly in the water. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even press start. Oops. This doesn't even have a start button. Here's the controller. These controls are going to be weird. I, I, I've heard some things about this, this version of the game. Um, a lot of people nitpicking, like, the graphics and stuff like that, which uh, it's whatever to me. I, it, it's a PlayStation 1 game, you know? And if it's really that big of a deal, just play that shit on the PlayStation 1, you know? But I don't know about the controls. That's what I'm a little worried about. Um, that's what I'm a little worried about. I think the controls might be a little weird, because, you know, I've been playing this game a really long time. We just watched this, right? So we can skip it? Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. how long I can go before I die. Hold on, gotta get my flippers off. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. We got to call and tell on him. We heard him. He knows we're here. We got to tell on him. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Press the, touch back. <laughs> the codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. He said get there without getting caught. I think you're asking for a lot from me. Like a whole lot. It's like, let's, see, let's go pick up this health. You're asking a lot from me. Come on, man. What's up with this piss vision? Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, whose footprints are these? What are you, a snitch? Oh, man, this was phenomenal when I was a kid, Arena, man. Sitting on the walls like that, being sneaky. I used to wear, like, fingerless gloves and shit when I walk around the house and sneak around and be solid snake. You know, good old, like, 10 year old me. Hold on, let me. This man might got it. He might have ESPN and turn around right when I try to run past him. Here we go. I need to get to that that area in the top right. What's the plan? Oh shit. Are you gonna go back to the left? Oh my god, dude. Are you gonna go down the middle or the left? Make up your mind. He's going down the middle. Make up your goddamn mind! Push the, the select button. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. All right, what's the action button, Colonel? I forgot. You'll just have to wait for the elevator. Oh, God damn it, you use the snakes. Is it triangle? Oh, circle. Oh, we got to wait for it to come down. He just said that. No shit. All right, here, I'm going to chill right here. This analog stick feels weird. It's been a while, though. So yeah, like I was saying before, I've heard some uh, some stuff about this game. So, um, Tappy, I'm interested to see how it how it holds up, because you know this is gonna be the first time that a lot of people are playing Metal Gear Solid, and they might play it and be like, "Yo, this game's ass. This this just phenomenal. I don't know what you talk about. You're crazy." 
was off the chain. Look at this gameplay. <laughs> Can you match it? Stop. We just gotta wait, dude. We gotta wait for the elevator to come down. We're supposed to get familiar with the control oh, shit. Is that guy coming down here? Well, we're starting off good, boys. Oh yeah, look at the look at the two piece. You got eagle vision? What is Assassin's Creed? All right, we got one down so far. What took you so goddamn long? Would have got caught if you wasn't near bullshitting. You fucked my spot. That was the perfect hiding spot, and you fucked it. How the shit are we gonna do this now? Do you think if I flip him? No. I'm not Action Jackson, I'm Solid Snake. I think if I flip that dude and run, that I'll be able to. He's gonna go up. Okay, here. Here's the plan. Oh, I was about to say, I think I can make it. I don't think I can make it. I would have probably got caught right there anyway. He's gonna go in the middle. Goofy ass fucking <laughs> soldiers with socks on their heads. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't come this way. Hold up. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. I'm fucking out of here. See you, nerd. Look at that. First try. Didn't even get caught. That didn't happen. You're delusional. You don't know what's going on. This is when Snake strips off his, his belly weight. Whoa, it's so real. Look at the graphics. Dude, I used to play this game's demo so much when I was a little kid. My uncle had it, and I would only really play it at his house. Sh Metal Gear Solid, Attack, Espionage, Action. I used to play it at his house all the time. Until I eventually saved up and bought, like, the greatest hits version. But man, I used to play the demo so much. There was, like, a thing in the demo that if you, like, beat the demo X amount of times or played it so many times, it would give you, like, a stinger launcher. Um, I can't remember if it was in the middle of the helipad. Or if it was where the SOCOM pistol was, they would like replace it with a Stinger missile. I like that. I think that's really cool when you have like demos and if you play it so much, they put little, little cool little secrets or you know little things in it. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal. Yo, can I, Kern, I made it, and Excellent I didn't get caught. Snake. Age has slowed good job. you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. Goodbye. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. 
You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> nice You're just flattering Keep it in your pants, no, playboy. I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Okay. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. Mm -hmm. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't <laughs> let them see you. They have highly developed First, vision so they can see a whole 12 feet in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> the DARPA chief was Hell yeah. with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Okay. We need to get a fix on who they are. Yeah, oh, that's not over solid too, my bad. By the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. What? No, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, in that sorry turtleneck? to disappoint you, but I did manage to You getting sexy in smokes. that turtleneck? How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You know damn well he was lying. He hid them cigarettes in his ass. We all know that's what he did. How you swallow cigarettes? How you swallow cigarettes? Like one by one? Okay, I get that part. But he has like the bag. The front door. Look at that. You see it? He's got the bag. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the He put enemy. it in his ass. We all I know can't it. can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. It just wasn't as cool. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Whose footprints are these? Well, you know what? I'm gonna try to see if I can get those chaff grenades in the. I think they're in the middle. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay. You put a lot of faith in me. All right. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't know why it feels weird playing this game with a PS5 controller. Oh, I'm full of those. Look at him. Solid Snake's favorite brand, ass flavored. <laughs> it's, it's bad for your health. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here we go. We're going to get caught? You know we are. I want to get those. What are those chaff grenades? I want them, damn it. I want them. How are we gonna get them? And we just gotta time it. Oh shit. Ah! 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 Are we good? I made it. Okay. Next step. 
I don't know, dude. Let's go this way. That guy's big sleep. We're gonna go in the truck and get the Nikita launcher from the demo. Oh, you get the SOCOM. Dude, when I remember when I first played, I'm like, the SOCOM? Hell yeah. There's a, uh, you shoot dudes, but then, you know, sound is a big thing, so it's badge. You can't, you can't do that. A surveillance camera? Why are you acting so, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, it's been so long since I played this game that like all the dialogue is just gonna crack me up. Oh, a surveillance camp? How fucking dare they? They have surveillance in this base? Full of illegal shit? Fuck off, go away. Shoo, go away. And then over here, Purr! go away. There's nothing here, Purr! Purr! just pigeons. Doing the bird man. He hears and he's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not a pigeon, that's Birdman. Birdman, you're here? Should snap his goddamn neck. But I think we're gonna just mosey on. Let him live for now. I got it, I got it, I got it. I figured it out. I got it. I found the duck. Oh, you found the duck there. I just wanted to let you know you pressed the X button. Alright. Damn, it's dark. Hello? First person? I think this... Shit. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. Hey, it's Miller! Time. Master, What's poppin'? What here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Thank you for that information, Colonel. I'm not Colonel, Master. Let me call you back. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. <laughs> what a Chad. Snake, you gotta calm down and just simplify and just think that's your most dangerous. Oh, just call Campbell. Fuck it. Call Campbell. I'm gonna call Mei Ling and say. Sorry. The solar tone radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? Okay, I'm gonna save. Storage one, new file. All right. Don't give up, Snake. I gotta see if you can still, uh... How do I go back? X. I gotta see if you can still run and shoot at the same time. You kinda you don't really need it for the Ocelot boss fight. But I like to have it for the Ocelot boss fight, you know what I mean? When you run behind him and shoot him in the back. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you could do that anymore. Because um Um They changed the controls. I'll have to see. Because I don't know if the PS5 has pressure sensitive buttons. What about the vent shaft cleaning? You have to use the pressure sensitive to do the it. Vent covers. About to start spraying for rats. I'm gonna just Google it. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did Damn. something oh, happen? Right, There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? And he's invisible? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Oh, shit. I'm sitting here trying to read how to run and shoot at the same... My bad. I'm sorry, I thought they were still talking. I was googling how to run and shoot. As I was saying before, how you run and shoot in this game... Um, I think it's the same in MGS2. You have to hold X and square at the same time, but you have to hold them lightly. Because if you press them too hard, uh, you'll just start shooting. 
because you use the pressure sensitivity on the controller. Um, but I've only ever played this game on like a you know a PS3 and a PS1, and all that. I don't think the are the PS4 and PS5 controls sensitive. Like, do they have pressure sensitivity? I don't know. I guess I could try and get caught. So I was googling it to see if uh, because I know I think they changed the controls since there's no uh, maybe that's just the Xbox one. I don't know, man. What you want? Use press the action button. Press the action button to drop down. I get it. Why are you talking to me like I'm stupid? Shit, I'm calling him back. Press the a Damn it! Press the action button. And then it's a ration and we're full. Action button is circle, I think. Square. One of them damn buttons. We're gonna find out today. Y'all ready? I'm surprised you don't just fall through the floor. Circle. It is circle. I guess during the next cutscene, I'll continue Googling how you do it. Original has analog movement, but the master click does not. What do you mean? Square and X to run and gun. Okay, so it is square and X. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Dog, oh, he's he's talking to me like I'm a newborn baby. Shit! Don't make I got it! Use an elevator to change floors, you fucking moron! <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me look around real quick. I think I'm gonna use, use should I use these jab grenades? Should I be a boss and use jab grenades? Nah. Let me just try to get past it. Show my godlike skills. What about this one? What's over there? Let's find out. Screw it. Kia. Oof. All right. Let's see what we got. Thermal Googles? <laughs> thermal Googles. Thermogles. The Thermogles. Man, what a video game, man. What a video game. Who shit, who shit, who shit, who shit. I always had a tough time dealing with this camera. Because if you run too early, it'll catch you going down the stairs. And you know, with a combination of me being ass and all, it's a little difficult. Elevator. So you said B1, right? About to find out. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is B1, because B2 is the, is, is the DL DL. Yeah. No, this is not it. Yo, no, no, this is it. We got it. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do that just for you, just because you, you know I'm about to, he's right here, he's sparkly. He wants me to hurry up and rescue him. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fuck with him. Hey, you hear that? You know you hear that? Don't ignore me. Well, fuck you too then. Thought we was boys. The PlayStation One was just delicious, wasn't it? Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Oh, really? Would have never known. I didn't play many PlayStation One games when I was growing up. I was more of a Nintendo bro. Like I liked Nintendo when I was a kid. Um, not because like I just didn't like PlayStation. It's just uh. Um. Yo, that Johnny taking a shit. Cut it, damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. You damn right, Johnny. You damn right. Um, I just I I always had cousins. Like my cousins lived upstairs in our apartment building, so um, we always had cousins over. Um, so we just played whichever game we could get the most players with. And so since the N64 had, you know, four ports and a lot of multiplayer games, that's why we mostly played the N64. But for PS1, I had, like, Crash Bandicoot 2, Rugrats Escape from Reptar, which, like, once a year or so, I stream that game. So if you're ever hankering for some nostalgic Rugrats gameplay, let a brother know. <laughs> 
I actually really like that game. It's silly. It's funny. Isn't there like a... Is that a woman? It's hard to tell. Isn't there a thing where like she does sit-ups in her drawers or something if you watch her long enough? Or is it what if you like beat the game or something? I don't know. There's some pervy shit where you can see her PlayStation 1 ass. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. I'm working on it, Colonel. Can you stop oh fuck. Can you stop fucking calling me. Okay. But yeah, that's why we didn't really play PlayStation 1 that much. Um, it just didn't have uh multiplayer games, like a lot of them. Ones that we can get four people to play. But I did play this one a lot in RE1 and 2. Who's that? And Rugrats. <laughs> I made it. I'm here to save you. Look at the dark six pack. Donald Anderson, God damn. Right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <laughs> How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We we're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. Like, what I'm going to tell you is classified information. We fucked up. A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> Yo, Johnny's goaded, dude. Hey, I don't care if you talk about nukes at war. Shut the fuck up. But Shut I up. thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes, Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. How? Yeah, you snitch? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. Oh, you're bullshitting. You told. Psycho they tickled Mantis. you and you told. You're a fib. One of the members of Fox. Tell him. He has tell powers. This is bad. 
It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Yo, they got shit like this for real in 2005? Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh no! What is it? Dude, this thing used to make me laugh so hard when I was a kid, man. Be like, ah! Ah! <laughs> like me after I eat like two whole pizzas. Ah! Minus the dying part. Dead. Colonel, he's fucking dead. <laughs> Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay. All right. Man. Yo, Johnny getting his cheeks clapped? I want to see this in first person. Hello? That's crazy. Y'all ready for that Johnny jump scare? Hold on, before I go, it's been real, boy. Bye, 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 bye. Put them bags in your face. Have a good night. Y'all ready for the Johnny jump scare? Ah! He's got pants on. What the fuck? When did he have pants? I've never seen that before. He has pants? So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. 
Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Those dudes came in like, Kia! Think. Shoot. I'm gonna start shooting. Oh, shit. Yo, Johnny's ass is not out. That's weird. Don't talk to me like a rookie. Start tearing up. I'm telling you, shoot. When did they put pants on Johnny? That's... This is blowing my mind. When did they put pants on Johnny? Oh, shit. Ooh, I gotta equip my razor and my dive, man. You know what? I'm a cheese. Oh, if my aim wasn't just so damn bad. <laughs> Fuck, I'm out of bullets. You know what doesn't run out of bullets? My fucking fists. Bitch. Bitch. I know Kung Fu. I got his ass. Oh, never mind. You got his ass. Hey, we did good. We worked good as a team. You deal with that. Kia, bitches! Fuck yeah! Kia! Sukaya! Flip him! What the fuck? Flip him! Ugh! Get your ass up! You ain't shit. That's what I'm talking about. Who needs a gun? Thanks for the help. Wait. We're gonna have a soldier's ass, Snake. Who are you? Why look at that soldier's ass, Snake? You fool! You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Oh look, now she's feeling herself as she's squeezing. Even posed after it. Ain't that some shit? some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. That's crazy. I'm gonna go look at Johnny's ass some more. Let me, let me back in. Johnny, what did they do to you? They put pants on him. It's like a diaper. Yo, someone answer this. I know somebody knows. Somebody. I have never seen Johnny with pants on. Ever. He's always been naked. In every version of this game that I've played, which is one. <laughs> he's supposed to have his ass out. What did you do? Tell me. Bow, 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 bow. Tell me. Look how they massacred my boy. Look what they did to him. They took Johnny's cheeks. Cause when she, hold on, what did was that? Was that bullets or rations in there? So calm, okay. Cause I was gonna heal and then just get the extra L. So you mean to tell me 
that she didn't steal his draws too, so she could just become him. Nope. All right, we gotta go down to B2. It's a beautiful day. Da, 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 da. Guys, bro. B2, basement two. They got two basements. That's how big this place is. Now, if I remember correctly, this area has spots in the floor that give out and you just die. Right? Is that like a thing in this in this one? Oh, yeah. You can see the floor splitting right there. Yeah. I don't think there's Goonises down here yet. I think they show up here when you come back. So we need to find the C4. Perfect. Let's see. All right. C4. I'm not sure if we can open up any other doors. That is the PSG1. We're going to have to do some mad backtracking for that boy. Which, in my opinion, is probably the zuckiest part of the game. The Nikita launcher. Um, the back... I don't really like backtracking in games too much. The Famass. That was my favorite gun in Rainbow Six Vegas. Any of y'all play that, that goaded game? I used to play the shit out of Rainbow Six Vegas, too. All nothing but terrorist hunt, baby. Uh, here's another one. Garnades. All right, so we got eight Garnades, too. Hell yeah. Okay. So, I remember when I first played this as a kid, I didn't understand. Uh, he did flat out just tell you to look for a wall with a different color. But, you know, being a child and having very short attention. There it is. Having very short attention span. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. So, um, I think eventually I started just doing this. Because I thought it was funny or something. Like, I don't know. Maybe I was, like, trying to make music. And then I noticed this weird... This wall makes this weird-ass, like, hidden block Donkey Kong sound. Alright, and that's where we... I'm about to blow! How do we use this? Square to set, circle to detonate. Oh, it's not... That's not the C4. Pop. Oh. I want to look at it first person. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two. Beautiful. Magic. Wonder how many of you guys got stuck on that part finding that area. Am I the only one that just doesn't pay attention? I told you, man, I beat this game like 20 times. I don't think I watched a single cutscene. <laughs> Is it just so long and just a bunch of shit I don't understand when I'm, you know eight years old or nine years old when I played this shit. Is it square then circle? Yeah. Wow. Alright. Let me get my health ready. Oh, we gotta do one more. Okay. Yeah, it took me a while to do this one. I don't remember how I figured out. I think like eventually once I found out that you could smack the wall uh, and get it to make noise, I think I just went to every wall and just punched it. You know, tapped it until I found the right walls. Because it was also even harder to see when you were a kid. Because, you know, we played on shitty TVs and 360p. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Yo, that's so cool, dude. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. Didn't that blow so you up, too? The one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt's single action army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. I thought you did when you showed me the revolt. Never mind. 
You think I can kill him with a grenade? Draw. Dun, 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 dun. This shit was so good. Where are you at, bitch? Come here. Ow. Why do you run so fast? God damn, dude, you're so quick. Wait, what do you mean by that? Sit still, fuck boy! God damn it. I don't think I'd be able to kill him with grenades. He moves too much. Maybe that's the point. Maybe that... Oh, you know what? Maybe the grenade will kill Baker. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. You guys down? I'm down. Oh, I dropped it! Oh. Well, now we know. <laughs> you idiot! Hey, fuck you! I was just trying something new. I wanted to see if I could kill him with a grenade. My bad. I played this game like a hundred times the same way. I just wanted to see if I could kill him with a grenade. And now I know I can. Let me skip the cutscene. All right, I'm coming for that ass. Oh shit! I almost ran in the wrong spot. Sit still. Come here. All right, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna juke you out. Remember me? I love to eat ass during a fight. Bro, how you go so damn fast? What's your secret? All right. I like Let's go. Wow. Wow. Got his ass. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> My hand! He sounds so disappointed. I guess I'd be pretty bummed out too if my whole gimmick was, you know, swinging around glizzies. And I now can't do that. Because I only have one hand now. You know what, to tell you the truth, I would be pretty bummed out if I lost a hand. I'd be pretty pissed. I like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton. When did I get a silencer on my gun? Did you guys have noticed? When did I get a silencer? Magic, I guess? Who the hell? I don't think you can get the silencer yet, right? I know you get it. I don't re fucking remember, dude. Can I think talk? it's on the first floor. Who like to you? the right. I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told where me where the elevator is. When you come out the elevator, you go yours? to the right. And I think it's in that room. Oh, I get it. Once you get like Jim a you. second you're, card you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Damn, you're a now snitch too? Both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. 
Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So, the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. <laughs> I'll contact her right away. That's funny. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Well, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. 
You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh no! What? What did you do to me? Oh no! Oh no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... Damn. What the hell? Call him. Colonel, why do people keep fucking dying? How come everyone I talk to just drops dead? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl Damn. to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. She fucking lying, Snake. You could tell. Ooh, I get my life up because he died. Hell yeah. Woo woo. All right. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why it feels so weird playing on a PS5 controller. It feels like there's a little bit of delay. And I know I've been having like a delay issue with my system. Um, but I fixed it by just not recording directly in the OBS. And I just record a different way. Um, but it, it feels like there's a bit of a delay. Not too bad. I don't know. Before I go, Mr. Baker, it's been real. Hold on, how do I get close? I'ma just I'ma just do it to your cane. You ready? 
Bow, 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 bow. These bags in your face. Oh, that's cool. You wanna know what else is cool? Now that's cool. Yeah, look, you can pause, you can see the little goggles. That's cool. I've never done that before. There's also another thing I found out about this game not too long ago that I've never seen before for the first time, like a couple months ago. And I'm excited to show you guys when I get to it. It's around the time when you fight Liquid in the helicopter. It was like, it's like an extra little piece of lore slash like cutscene thing that I didn't even know was a thing. Didn't even know it existed. Okay, so we got a key card two, right? So I got Garnades. Let's see. Oh, the two's for the fam ass. Let me equip it. Oh shit. Let me get my SIGs. The ones that I pulled out of my ass. Dun, 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 dun. I want to get this game's uh, soundtrack on vinyl, even though I don't even own a vinyl player. A record player. I think my mom does, but I don't. And it sits in the it sits in like the law. Nobody don't use that shit. Is there any other twos? One. I think we checked and that's a three. I think the fan mass was the only other two. Shit. It's too slow. Is he gonna is he gonna 180? Is he gonna 360 no scope it? Nope. He's out of here. Alright, I'm gone. What was that noise? We're up elevator. Right, let's go. Let's go back to B1 real quick. I think there was another door up there, but I can't remember. Um, didn't the B kind of look like a 13? Uh, that is a six door. Oh, I think that's the only one, huh? My hands are greasy, dude. I've been I've been messing with my hair because I've been nervous. Because that's what I do when I'm nervous, and my hairs. My hair is kind of greasy, so my hands get all clammy and gross, and I just gotta start putting mitts on like a baby. So I stop messing with my hair. Uh, there ain't shit up here. Let's go back up to the first floor. Let's see. Oops. Let's see if we can get uh, that suppressor that apparently we had in that cutscene. <laughs> Let's go get that suppressor we had that we magically had in the cutscene. I don't have a suppressor. I think the suppressor's over here. Right? Like right here in this door? Right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, let's call Meryl, because I believe we need her in order to uh, get out of here. And she is 140.15. back of the CD case. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. Their beautiful, compassionate eyes. Come on, Snake. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary solid. Trying to fuck snake. anything in a skirt? Sweep me off my feet. Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? 
Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. <sighs> Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. Look at this badass. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. 
Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay, so I guess we just dick around until that happens. And just run around and you know, do nothing. I guess there's some other doors we can check, but I just don't want to go up by that, uh, by that, um, I don't know. I don't know what make. I don't know what triggers her to, to go do it. Do we have to, like, leave the area? Because she's going to open that door in the top right corner, and I don't think we see her do it. It just happens. And I'm not sure if that, oh shit, turn around, turn around. Don't make me snap your neck, I will do it! I'm a lethal weapon! Don't fuck with me! Oh shit, he's coming. <laughs> oh lord, he's coming! Because I don't want to go up the stairs and get caught by the camera. Oh, yeah, I guess you did do it. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. So you're not gonna elaborate on this gas you're, you're talking about? Like at all? Not gonna... Fuck me, right? Not gonna elaborate on this gas? Figure it out, Snake. Bitch boy. Alright, I'll figure it out. Fine. I think I could just use the thermal goggles for this, right? Because I'm magic man. God damn it, Colonel. What do you want? Oh. What do you want? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Snake, that's code for don't be ass, and you can figure it out. But let's see. All right. We got this. Oh, shit. I got this. Oh my god, I can't see! <laughs> I guess I'm dead. Alright. I didn't see the third one. There's so many lines and the camera angle is a little questionable. I mean, I also suck. Well, let's just sit here and just let good old life take its course. Damn, it'd be like that, huh? Alright, let's try that again. Part two The Squeakle. Oh shit. Let's try that again. No, I'm not answering it. I got it. I got it. It's really tough. Okay, that's that fast one. And then there's a slow one. We're, we're good. Alright, I made it. I got it. I made it. Bitches, first try. If I, now, if I remember correctly, this area is mine to the teeth. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. What? Deep Throat. The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Deep Throat? What? Why you pick that name? Of all the names, of all the names you get to name yourself, why? Why? I know the Watergate scandal thing. I know that's maybe the reason why, but... <laughs> what is it? 
Never mind. I don't even. There's there's no point. Who are you? What's your name? Uh, 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 uh Rusty Trombone. Yeah. Now reach around. That's my name. Missionary. Cleveland Steamer. Why are you so blurry, Raven? God damn, dude. That's I can't even see right. you. you on Chuck Farnham? You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Go. Let's fight. All right, then. Let's do it. I'm about to grenade the shit out of you. Do you hear me? I'm about to blow you up. I'm the bomb and I'm about to blow up. I'm about to... Shit. You didn't tell me this area was fucking mine. I thought we were past that already. Hold on, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. I just don't want to blow up. I don't want to die on the way there. Cause I got eight grenades. I'm gonna fuck you up. All right, I'm standing. Go. Dude, dude. Fuck. Oh, that's how it is. You're gonna get up and laugh at me and thumbs me down with your kung fu grip. Try that shit again. I'm zigzagging. Try that shit again. Try it again. I'm with you, Raven. Squeezing, bro. All right, let me blow you up. Ow. Oh, no, the grenade. I dropped the grenade. Ah! <coughs> oh! Shit. Damn it. Come on, sit still. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, suck on that. Ooh. See how you like this. Oh, he got invincible frames? What a bitch. How is this tank driving sideways? Oh, that's it? It's two grenades? Really? I thought it was three. You know, like... The old, like, Mario code, you know, it's three. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. You see? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. Thirst for his blood. Oh, really, huh? Maybe you should do a better job next time. Get my juices up, because I won that boss fight. Okay, so I'm going to grab this health, this ration over here. Now we can carry three rations. Uh, we are in a new area. We're in the, like, the warhead disposal facility uh, where we can't shoot our gun, and they have the goons wearing the weird... Uh, like green gas mask costumes. Also notice that we're we're coming up on an hour and thirty, which is usually my uh, my go-to. I like to keep them at about an hour and thirty, like a movie kind of. But thank you guys for joining me. 
I appreciate all of you. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. I was really excited to play this because um, it's been such a long time and I haven't been able to play it um, for you guys, at least, as I've you know, played it a couple times for myself. But um, yeah, it's nice to it's nice to be home, quote unquote. You feel me? Because this is one of my all time favorites. And then I, I'm, I'm excited to see how all three games are on this collection um, to see if they're any different from the PS3 version that came out like I think in 2011 or 2012 when the HD collection came out. Um, I want to see how they are. See if they're any different, if they fix any like slowdown or, you know, because I've been playing those versions for a really, really long time. Very long time. So I'll notice the little things if they're off or whatever. Like Johnny's ass not being out. I know that's not like a bug or anything, but I just, I don't know. Somebody let me know below. Like, is that like the UK version or something? Like, because the version I've always had, his naked ass was out every time so that's the first time i've ever seen that but uh it's 1 35 in the morning i'm gonna go uh take a shower and get this ready for you guys to watch uh tomorrow so hope you all have a beautiful awesome weekend and i'll catch you later hope you have an awesome 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 night what is i forgot my outro hope you have a beautiful morning a great day an awesome afternoon and an amazing night if it is your birthday you dastardly devil happy birthday to you and if it is your birthday you gorgeous gal Happy birthday to you, too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.